Hey guys, today I need to talk about Google Ads Parallel Tracking. If you are using Google AdWords, Google Ads, you need to watch this video. There's a deadline coming up for this uh, that you're going to need to meet. Um, you're probably here uh, because you've got an email from Google that looks a little bit like this. And you probably went into a bit of blind panic thinking, what on earth is parallel tracking? What's going to happen? Is my account going to stop? Is the tracking going to stop? How am I going to measure my conversions? So the first thing is, don't panic. This is, it just sounds a hell of a lot more serious than it is. Um, so I'm just going to explain in this video very quickly what this parallel tracking is, what it means for you, and what you need to do in your account to go and um, sort this problem out. So let's first look at what is parallel tracking? Um, so what happens at the moment, uh, historically, before you enable parallel tracking, is a user searches Google, they click on your ad, and then they are directed to a URL, so this big long URL string with a tracking code in it, um, and then redirected along to the final URL. So click the ad, redirect, redirect, land on your page. Okay, so. Um, it's taking a few extra steps, maybe fractions of a second, but it's slowing down that user journey. Um, we know that conversion rates are uh, dependent on load time. So if you have uh, a long load time, then users get bored and they leave. So what Google's trying to do here is just make this a quicker journey and remove that unnecessary step. So what will now happen is uh, a user will click your ad, they'll be directed straight to your final URL, their landing page, and what happens uh, alongside that is the URL tracking. So instead of stepping through the URL tracking, it's running at the same time um, in parallel, hence parallel tracking. So that's all that's going to change. The user will notice no difference and you will notice no difference in your Google AdWords account, um, except that uh, hopefully your conversion rate will go up slightly because uh, the user journey is shorter and therefore uh, more people will get through to your site and so forth. So that's all well and good, uh, but what do we need to do to go and enable this in the Google Ads account? So this next part is actually pretty simple. Head into your Google Ads campaign. Um, go to basically the top level view. You want to be showing all campaigns, um, all enabled, all, uh, all but deleted basically. Um, so even the pause ones, you need to apply these settings. Um, so you should have a list of all the campaigns on your screen. Click on settings here. Um, go to, and you'll be on campaign settings. Change that to account settings. Um, and then you'll be presented with this screen. Um, now here, all you need to do is just click Parallel Tracking, um, and that will enable the parallel tracking for you. Uh, of course, click Save, um, and you're off and going. And that's pretty much it from there. It was just going to break something, and you're right to think that. It was my first kind of thought, what is this going to break? So, if you have the Google AdWords conversion tracking script on your website, uh, just on the thank you page in your e-commerce process. Um, this is just going to continue working perfectly. You don't need to do anything other than enable this parallel tracking. If you are using Google Tag Manager and you have, again, the Google AdWords native code, uh, the conversion tracking code via Tag Manager, again, you don't need to do anything more than just enable this parallel tracking. The, uh, the issue is going to come where if if you're a small minority, um, and I've worked on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Google AdWords accounts, um, and I've seen very, very few that use third-party tracking tools. Um, most most websites just don't need them, don't use them. Um, but you might be using a tracking template in your ads, uh, which looks a little bit like this. So it's got this, uh, this uh, kind of bit of extra text in here, in the URL, in these parameters. So if you are using something like that, then this is going to get a lot more complicated. So um, impossible for me to kind of go into detail of every permutation of what tracking templates you might be using. Um, but suffice to say, if you are using those, then probably the best thing is to talk to your uh, developer, your webmaster, talk to the agency that's looking after your Google AdWords account. If you're doing this yourself and you're stuck, then please get in touch and we'll, we'll try and have a look at this for you and, um, and see what you need to do and how it's going to affect you. Um, regardless of whether you're using tracking templates or you're not, or you're using Tag Manager for this, or, you're, or you have this installed natively on your site, 
please, 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 once you've done this, just set an alarm on your phone, set a reminder email, whatever it is you need to do, but please go and test your tracking um, over the next day or two to make sure that it is still working. Um, chances are that it is and nothing's going to change, but just please go and check. You don't want to leave this a week and then find out you've got no conversion tracking, especially if you're using automated rules based on you know increasing, decreasing bids based on ad spend or turning things off or whatever. Um, so yeah, just go and make sure that you're doing this. Um, so the deadline for parallel tracking is the 30th of October. Um, so you need to go and make sure that you have done this before that date. Um, do subscribe now if you want some more tips on optimizing your Google Ads accounts. There's more shows coming up over the next few weeks um, about how to get a better return on investment for your spend there and how to scale things up. Um, and if you've enjoyed this video, if it's been helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up. Um, if you need some help with this, uh, as I say, contact us via tillerson.co.uk or um, mention, uh, you know, comment in the, in the thread uh, below the video and we'll do our best to, to help you.